Okay, so the question that I've got today is how can you get a Yahoo stock portfolio um, like this, right, a custom portfolio that you've developed to then move over here and be able to update it automatically in Excel uh, for free without any kind of, um, you know, Microsoft 365 or other subscription service to scrape the data. Uh, so I found a pretty easy way to do that. I'm going to show you, show you how. So what I want to take a look at today here is Yahoo Finance and setting up if you've got a portfolio of stock that you've set up on, on Yahoo Finance and you want to be able to update your stock prices in a Excel spreadsheet. So it's probably a problem um, only for me, you know, because um, I've nerded out on this stuff. But, uh, but here's my portfolio. You can see uh, they're in kind of a random order, so they're not alphabetical. Um, this is just probably how I, how I got the stocks over the years. And the way that I used to do this was I just would go into Yahoo Finance every day, week, month, uh, whatever interval you wanted to update your stock prices, and I'd just copy it, copy the whole kit and caboodle. Okay, copy, then I'd go into my spreadsheet, and this is just a, a tracker spreadsheet. And the way that I did is I have all my, all my stocks listed here, um, the ticker and then the price, and I've got a bunch of other data that I've kind of got hidden. Uh, and I would take and I would paste special, just as text, all the current stock price information. All right, so you can see all the stock price information is now um, sitting over here on the edge of my spreadsheet. And then I could go in and copy this, or I could do a, a formula to pull this price information into my main page over here, right into my main table, and I could update the prices. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a manual and a tedious process. There's all kinds of, you know, AI tools and bots that are out there now um, <laughs> that you could use for, to do something like this. And I'm just trying to come up with the simplest way, right? I, I don't want to, uh, I don't have Microsoft 365 set up. Um, the version that I'm using is, I think it's, gosh, what is this? This is 2021, maybe? Um, yeah, this is Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2021. So it doesn't have some of those robust stock features built into it. So if you're using an older version of Excel and you're trying to figure out how to get your Yahoo portfolio in Excel to update uh, your share prices or any of the other data that's out there, this, is a, this could be a technique for you. Originally what I tried to do was import um, the stocks through a web page, right? So you say, okay, this should be easy. I am going to just copy my portfolio page, right? Copy that. And I'm going to import the data as a, as a web page. So let's just, uh, let's just try it here. So I've got a new sheet. Uh, go to data. I'm going to go from, from the web. All right, and basic, you're gonna put your URL in here. Here's my portfolio. And what I realized as I started doing this is you've gotta be able to log in to the portal and log into your account in order to see your stocks set up in your portfolio in the order that you want them. And there's supposed to be a way to do that, right? You're supposed to be able to set it up to log in to this page and then you can see all your information. Um, unfortunately, I could not get that to work. I've played around with it. Um, you can see that the web view here, it wants you to sign in, right? And load, transform, cancel. Okay, so I was unable to get that to work and I did try, I did find a place where you're supposed to be able to enter your username and password and it, it did not work. So what's another way around this thing? The easiest way around it is, what if we could access the same portfolio in Yahoo Finance, right, without using a username and password? Okay, so after uh, digging around, yes, you can do that. You can set up your own custom URL to get all of your stocks in this order. Again, for me, this order was kind of important um, to my spreadsheet. And here's how you do it. It is super cool, super easy. All right, so you're gonna use this web address. You're gonna use 
Yahoo Finance or finance.yahoo.com slash quotes. And then you're going to input all of your ticker symbols, uh, followed by a comma, no space, in the order that you want them. So as many as you've got. And then you're going to do a slash view slash v1, view1. Once you've got that, copy. Let's put it in the browser and just see what it looks like. All right? Boom. And there is a list of all those stocks and their current share prices. So why is that a game changer? Because now I can go back and I can go from web. I can pull in my data. I put this new URL that just lists all the stock, um, separate by commas, right? And check out the difference. Okay, it's gonna load up here. And this, again, maybe you already knew about this. Uh, this, is, this is something new I just figured out the other day. So I wanted to share it with you so you could try it if you, if you need it. Uh, may only apply to me, but uh, yeah, check it out. So now when I go to the web view, Shazam, you've got your whole stock list easily available. You don't have to worry about anything. You've got a table view here. There's all the stocks. You can hit transform data if you want to get in here and play around with it. You can, you can load it. And once you click load, it is pulling in the external data. And it's going to data dump it all into your spreadsheet. And shazam, now you've got your latest stock price. So now you can either just leave this new table in here. If you want to refresh it, you can just click the refresh button here. And your queries and connections will reach back out to the website. Again, a non-logon website, and it'll update your data automatically. So uh, yeah, it's been, been kind of a, an aha moment for me. Uh, let me know if you've already been using this method or uh, if you've got something even better. I know 365 does some cool stuff with a stock code you can put in there and, and it'll, it'll know it's a stock in Excel and it can, you can update automatically. Um, but I thought this was just like a simple, it's elegant, it's free. Uh, there's no extra cost if you've got an old version of Excel um, and you want to update your stock prices without doing the copy paste thing. This is, uh, this is pretty smooth. So anyway, um, that's all I got for today. I just wanted to do a quick one. Um, 